Chris Young was just talking about the Class Easy Integra, and I spent a lot of time in that particular Class C, and it was absolutely beautiful. But I want to go back, if we can, for just a moment. Just before that segment, uh, we had talked about hunting, and Mary, you made me so hungry talking about wild turkey. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. It is, and, you know, it's really important for me to eat clean and eat sustainably, and so being able to harvest your own turkey and bring it back to camp and cook up a simple recipe like the turkey poppers oh, man. is amazing. Cube that stuff up, one inch cubes, cayenne pepper, wrap it in bacon, a little bit of brown sugar and honey drizzled on it, on the grill. It's not complicated. Anyone can cook it. So okay, good. see, that's the cool thing. And organic, it's out in the open, you know, and you had mentioned something also about you're going to Florida, you're going to hunt in the orange groves. That's got to be some sweet, delicate turkey because that's they're right. eaten in the orange groves, right? Yes, the orange grove birds, you know, the ones that are corn fed, they're super juicy. And we've got some great conservation agencies like the National Wild Turkey Federation who manage the populations all over the country. So we're pretty lucky here. We're spoiled with our wild turkeys. And the brown sugar and the bacon, Zach? Oh, that's hard to beat. Or just, or just fry it. Yeah. Hard to beat that too. And whether it's, you know, the turkey and, and, and all the stuff we were talking about with the camouflage, which, by the way, thank you for that. Everything needs to be covered, including the hair. <laughs> uh, earlier, I just saw a floating haircut on the screen. So. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. But fishing also, uh, the great ways that you can cook the fish. And we have every single thing you need in our retail department here at Gander RV and Outdoor and, of course, at Camping World to make your cooking selections so simple and so delicious. Yes, and that's what's great with the ice houses, too. You can just catch it there and fry Fry it up while you're in there and I eat love it, it fresh. I love it. We're going into some Jayco J Light uh, SLX. The series is amazing. Wait until you see some of these vehicles. Ian's going to show them to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jayco J Flight SLX session. I personally really like these um, if, the, for a couple different reasons. One, you're looking at something that has excellent construction from something as small as this one right here. This is the 145 RB. Uh, you're about 16 and a half foot long is all. But they take the same construction that they have in, you know, 25 foot models and bring that into something this small. So you're getting great construction at a great price. Folks, this one we're going to look at as we go through. I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it if you're looking for something lightweight. This one is starting at $16,495, which is as little as $4.08 a day. So, you know, if you're looking to get out there, it's just two of you. This one is perfect. It sleeps too. It's lightweight. It comes in at just over 2,400 pounds dry. So if you have a, a midsize SUV that can tow 3,500 pounds, this is perfect, right? It's got everything you need. You have a nice big table here. The thing I love about this, you know, if you have guests, well, yes, it's absolutely built for two. Look how big, look at how big this bench seat is. You want to talk about a lightweight RV that can entertain people? This is it. You take this out. You meet some friends at the campsite. You have four people sitting at the table. You have another, you know, two or three people on the bench seat over there. I mean, you're rocking and rolling in this thing. Uh, but even if it's just the two of you, you have more than enough space to have a big spread. You know, you can cook in here. Obviously, you can cook outside at the fire. But the fact that you have the space to just kind of sprawl out uh, and have those meals together, you know, have that cup of coffee in the morning, uh, you know, after you make up the bed. Um, you know, just being able to do it in something this size is incredible. And, you know, this will be the primary bed in this one. But, you know, I, I know my wife always yells at me if I don't make the bed. And here, if I plan on eating breakfast, I obviously have to, right? I don't have a choice. Got to make the bed up if I'm going to eat. Um, but it, the, the, this table is removable, too. So if you want to kind of open this space up, you can fold the table up, take it outside. You know, have a little picnic table out there. Really open this front space up. Otherwise, this is probably going to be your primary spot to hang out. Now, something I do kind of like, now you'll see it, it does, um, you know, kind of curve in a little bit here. Not curve, but it slants, rather. It slants in as it goes up. But if you put a couple of pillows right here, you know, you can prop yourself up and hang out right here. And I'll show you in a little bit where you can plug in a TV. And you honestly have a great spot to watch a TV right here as well. So you, you have a couple different places. You know, that bench seat's a great spot for it as well. And, and I'll show you that in just a minute. One other thing I do want to point out is even though this is a small and lightweight RV, it doesn't mean that it's light on storage. I mean, you know, I have storage all across the top. You can see a couple bins there. I have a net. I have more storage above the kitchen. I have storage up over here. I mean, any space up top that they can, they basically have put a cabinet in. 
Also, one of the things that's important when you have a smaller, lightweight RV is to make sure you have windows. You don't want it to seem too dark. You want it to be bright. You can see here they have a huge window. There's another one on the other side by the bed, um, you know, by the table right here. So it, again, it helps bring in that natural light during the day. At night, of course, you have LED lights, which will do a great job of keeping things bright. But not only that, but wait, there's more. As I uh, move these cushions out, which I also want to mention, take a look at the cushions. So this is one of the things when we talk about entry level campers, sometimes for me, it's the small things uh, that, that mean a lot to me just because it, it just shows the manufacturer is caring. So a lot of times when you have back cushions, they're rectangle, right? They're just straight down. Well, if you notice, this one comes out on an angle a little bit to actually support your lumbar. So it's more comfortable to sit on. So something like that, as minor as it is, is something that I pick up on and I'm like, hey, I like that. It shows the manufacturer is paying attention. When we lift up this cushion, you will see extra storage. And you will notice there is also access from the outside. So, you know, some of these items that are right up in, in this part, obviously you'll want to just grab in here, but if they're more toward the outside, you can, of course, use that. And also, not only do we have that storage, but we open this up and boom, look at that more storage. So, you know, you have a, a lightweight RV, you know, I mean, again, we're under 2,500 pounds dry and you are still able to have plenty of storage. Now, what you'll notice, despite what I said about these cushions, these ones are rectangles and that's <laughs> not because, you know, they didn't want to put in uh, this style because it's more expensive or anything like that. It's just because when you put the bed down, this is what's going to go on a table and you don't want, you know, a big bump or anything where it slants up into your back because that's just not comfortable at all. So as you can see, great seating, excellent storage so far. I mean, I'll show you a little bit kind of up top here too, right? So good storage right up there. You have a multimedia center over to the side. Uh, so, you know, if you want to listen to some music, it's, uh, you know, that's perfect for it. Nice and easy to use. Does have a couple different zones. Uh, Bluetooth capable as well. So if you want to hook up your TV to it, uh, that is definitely something you can do. As we shoot across the other way, this is our kitchen. Now, when you're talking about smaller, lightweight RVs, you kind of have a few different setups with the kitchen. And this is my preferable one, which is you get prep space, right? I want some kind of countertop space for my coffee maker. If I need to put something out to dry, um, you know, I, I have a, a, a one-year-old, so we'll bring like a little... I forget what it's called, like a little uh, bottle grass, right, to dry bottles on. Um, so I want countertop space. Now, the other option is instead of a single basin sink and a two burner, they'll give you a three burner cooktop, a double basin sink, but it takes up your whole countertop. So I personally prefer this one, but if, you know, if you're like, hey, I really just want a double bowl sink, right, it's something I have to have, that's okay. We have RVs that are, you know, this weight, that are 24, 2,500 pounds, at least under 3,000, where we, and they will have that set up with a double basin sink and three burner. If that's something you want, simply text the word FRESH to 46642, because folks, we have over 20,000 pieces on the ground, over 80,000 in order, uh, and we absolutely can find you the RV you want with the kitchen setup that you desire. You'll also see right here, spot for a TV. I mentioned that, and this is 12 volt, um, which is cool. So you can plug that right in, you're good to go. Uh, the reason I like 12 volt is because, you know, of course you have your 120 there if you wanna run 120, um, but with a 12 volt, you, you can just run it off your battery, right? If you have a 12 volt TV, they're a little more expensive, but you don't have to have shore power, which lets you kind of take this out and about. Uh, you'll also see your tank monitoring panel there as well as your water heater. And this is an important one on something that is, you know, again, smaller. And that's the fact this water heater will run off both propane and electric. And you can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. That's not something you often get in a smaller RV. You'll also see that it is prepped for solar. So if you want solar, you can, it's already pre-wired. That is where your controller will go. Again, you know, it, with the thought that you're going to be doing a little bit of boondocking, maybe not plugging this one in, it gives you the ability to you know kind of go off the beaten path microwave as you would expect a hood right there too uh, direct vent furnace you know that's all you need to keep something like this nice and toasty uh, and in fact it's actually better than vented and or, uh, ducted in most cases in something this size but what is even more impressive to me is the fact that you have a 13,500 b 
BTU AC. Folks, you want to talk about cooling off in a hurry. If you've had an RV experience where, you know, it just doesn't cool down quick enough, I promise you won't have that issue in this one. At 16 and a half feet, this thing's going to cool that down, I mean, in a matter of minutes. Uh, most of the time in something this size, you'll get a wall mount. But here, they went all out, gave you the big AC. You're going to absolutely love it. Underneath the sink, check that out. This is a big one for me. You have space for a trash can. That, again, is something that you don't often get in smaller RVs. So, you know, definitely love the fact that you have space for that trash can right there. And over to this side is your fridge. You know, I'll open it up just to kind of show you. So you have fridge here. There is a drop-down freezer compartment there. Uh, but, you know, obviously you have to have a spot for cold storage. And, oh, it is taped shut. Uh, but this one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover, which is pretty good given its size. If we take a look at the bathroom in the back, you know, in a smaller RV, a lot of times you can't unfortunately fit a sink in here. So, you know, to wash your hands, you will have to come out to the kitchen, just bear that in mind. If you have to have a sink in a smaller RV, again, we have floor plans where that is possible, but you'll lose the storage over to the side that we'll see in just a moment. As I sit down as far as space, uh, you know, it is a little tight on my right knee here when I close the door, you know, I kind of have to shift my knee to the side. There's just not a lot of room. They tried to maximize the living space and your kitchen space, so they had to sacrifice a little bit here in the bathroom uh, but again you know I don't plan on spending a ton of time in here could definitely make it work if we move over to the tub shower I'll stand in here and this is a big one at six foot tall in an RV that only weighs you know a little over 2400 pounds dry I can stand all the way up I don't have to duck down thanks to that skylight uh, then that is a big deal most of the time when you're in these smaller lightweight RVs you will have to duck down. So bear that in mind. If that is a, if that is something that you absolutely want is to be able to stand up in your shower, then this one right here is a perfect lightweight RV for you. If it's not such a big deal to you, well, again, you know, like I say, we have plenty of options out there. So we open up this space. I love this too, because again, this is something we normally don't see on smaller RVs. And as I said, if you have a bigger bathroom, you know, I might be able to fit a sink in here, but what we get instead is, you know, a little entryway like mud closet, right? You have a spot to hang up your jackets. You have storage up top for hats or gloves or scarves or whatever else you want to bring with you. Plus you have storage space for shoes. And because it's two people, you know, this should be more than enough space for you, unless you're, you know, bringing your whole walk-in closet full of shoes. I don't know, but but uh, I do love the fact that that is there. Now, your thermostat for your furnace will be located here. The controls for the AC, of course, will be on the AC unit itself. Right over to this side, you have lights as well as a power awning. Let's actually head outside, take a look at that awning real quick. So if we take a look up top, you can see the power awning here, which again, on something this size is really great. And it has an LED light strip, which a lot of manufacturers, when you're talking about this price point, right? You know, when you're under, uh, you know, 16.5, the starting price on this one for the show, you know, again, just a little over $4 a day. A lot of times they will take that LED light strip out because it saves a little bit of money. You see it have Solera speakers built in too. So again, great awning, you can roll that out cool thing about the speakers here is it will play the music down on your campsite instead of blasting out at your neighbor. So excellent system that they have. Another thing, I talked about great construction. Folks, this uses the Magnum Truss roof system that Jayco is so well known for. They have oversized nail plates, making sure that you know the wood's not gonna shift around on you. They use two by two wood supports instead of a thin aluminum strap to make sure that you have the strength. So if it's snowing on top of there, or you're walking on that fully walkable roof, it's not going to cave in. You're not gonna damage anything. So beautiful construction from that standpoint. Moving up a little bit, we can see that outside access, right? We talked a little bit about that when we were inside. So right there is that access point. And folks, again, this is just one of the SLX line. Right? This is the SLX 7, the single axle. It's a little bit smaller. We have plenty more coming up. There's definitely a lot to love in this line. As we start to go up, you'll see a little bit more amenities. But one of the things you'll notice is excellent construction throughout. And when we talk about value, the J-Flight SLX is almost second to none. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. 
Loving those Jayco J flights. My next segment. Oh, first off, I'm Caleb. This is Tiffany. We are from us, the Remingtons. Clearly, I just watched the free breaking <laughs> movement, and I'm feeling all types of kind of ways. I'm a is this a what in the? What are you is going to on? Why not me? I'm stage me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. You. <laughs> You know what? Funny story. I actually felt like, like I actually felt like Uncle Eddie right? when uh, we it's were full. we were driving through the, the upper Midwest. Our black tank froze. Oh, so I was out there in the freezing cold with the the hose, and yeah. all of a sudden, I, nothing was coming out. That's that's never a good day. That's why it's it's really important because you know they always talk about four season camping. I say four season camping is different from Buffalo than it is to Mesa. Oh, so you got to pay attention to where you're at. It's true. And having those 12 volt heating pads on your tanks makes a huge difference. But even more important than that is what you put in your tanks. That's right. Because you want things like biodegradable products. The for example, the paper. yes, the toilet mm -hmm. paper. Yeah, there are special toilet paper for RVs. <laughs> Actually, we learned the hard way in the first time that we had our Class A. We used regular toilet paper, and you got that TP, you know, that oh, they always yeah, are yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuck. And then you should also hear the story, and we've told you the story of when we had to clean out the black tank, and I accidentally turned on the hose, and oh, it was going yeah. everywhere, and it was, it was right a good welcome to the life. It was, it was a bad day. Yeah, we've been doing this RV life for two and a half years, and I swear we learn something new every week about yeah. black tank and sanitation. Yeah. Uh, you know, having the black tank flush, having the right cleaners is important. <laughs> having the right hoses are the important. The snakes. The snakes are very important. You want one with, see, I, I like these because they I have the like clear the elbow. I do like the rhinos. Yeah. yeah. They have yeah. the clear elbow when you get done. They have the clear Universal elbow. Universal adapter. They and all they're super squishy, so if you step on them they're you they won't break yeah. or crack they're still reinforcing they're almost indestructible I love but it. you know one of the other things is you got to have the supports mm -hmm. support. because you want the proper ones that make sure it goes from your rv to the dump at you know at an angle yes and really you support. don't want to pull a cousin eddie <laughs> and you know go to clark's you know his his waist right there in front of his house you want to make sure you do that properly but we have it. specialists at every camping world and at every gander rv and outdoors that will help make sure you have the right sanitation products you need to make your rv adventure unlike caleb and tiffany's because <laughs> i mean at the end of the day that's really what you want right hey, I mean, we grew from it <laughs> and to get all these awesome products guys just text camp to 46642 we got Everything you need. That's right. And speaking of everything you need, my boy Ian's got all the Jayco's you need right now. Take it away, brother. So let's say you love the last one, but you have a little bit bigger tow vehicle. Maybe now you can tow 5,000 pounds. Still looking for something mainly built for two, but a little more space. Something with a slide out, right? Start opening the space up. Well, that's exactly what we have here. This is the 2021 J Flight 183 RB. It's still a rear bath floor plan, as I mentioned, mainly a couple's layout. Uh, but, you know, we add a little weight. We're now up to 32, uh, 3,250 pounds dry. But part of that is because, again, you get the slide out. And this really is what opens this space up and, you know, allows people to move by each other easily. If you have a dog that comes with you, now you have a space, you know, where they can kind of lay and you don't have to step over them to get from one side of the camper to the other. So definitely a lot to, uh, to love in this one right here. And the coolest part about it, is this one is actually starting at $1,000 more is all than the last one. So, you know, it's not necessarily about, you know, uh, the floor plan, right? And yes, it obviously does make a difference, but again, it's about tow vehicle. You have to know what you can tow to know what you can get. And if you ever need help, folks, that's what we're here for. Please reach out to, to us here at Camping World. We'll be happy to help you out, figure out exactly what you can tow, where you're at, and be able to make sure we find a great RV for you. Now, Let's ha go ahead and hop into the 183. Um, and again, kind of like we had in the last one, you will see they used a similar setup for the kitchen. You have a single basin sink. You have a two burner cooktop, and that allows for all of this prep space right here. You, of course, will also notice your electrical outlet is there, so it's a perfect spot for a coffee maker. It's also where your TV will go because, again, you have the TV hookups with the 12 volt. If you have a 12 volt TV or you know, if you have 120, you will definitely just plug it right into there, but your cable, everything else will be located there. Also, uh, kind of similar, right? We have our um, tank monitoring panel right here. And once again, the water heater does run off both propane and electric. Up top, you'll see some storage there. 
on both sides, you have the microwave, the hood underneath, then the multimedia center on this one is right over here, but same deal, a couple different zones. This one is also Bluetooth capable. Now, you will see another electrical outlet over to the side. Um, you know, it's a little bit tougher as far as what you would uh, use that for as far as the kitchen goes, because you know, you probably have to pull the cord over here to where your space is. But if you have like a vacuum or something that you bring with you, or you just need to charge a cell phone, that's an excellent spot for it, assuming you want it in the kitchen, right? Maybe you're making uh, a recipe you want to be able to read the recipe, you need to plug your tablet in. Well, you can do it there, especially if this one is taken up by a coffee maker and a TV, right? You know, maybe you need that one. So it is nice to, to be able to have the options. Once again, underneath, you will see space for a trash can. Uh, right next to that is our direct vent furnace. And once again, same style fridge with the drop down freezer compartment. Now, as we go in the back, we talked a little bit about having a sink, right? And as I said, instead of getting the mud closet, the bathroom would extend across the entire back. And that's exactly what we have here. You'll also notice I have more space. When you know when you have a bigger bathroom, I have more space to sit down in the toilet. You know, my, my knees aren't crammed at all. I have great shoulder space here. My toilet paper uh, holder, it will be right there. So when the door is shut, it's very easy to grab. You know, I don't have to like do one of these turn moves and have it behind me where I have to do yoga to grab it, right? Super simple and easy. Over to the side is the tub shower. Step right in here. Once again, at six foot tall, thanks to that skylight, you can see here that I can fully stand up, right? I, I have plenty of room. I can be 6'1", maybe 6'2", at least 6'1", so be able to stand in here without having to bend down. And then across the other way, you will see here is a linen closet, so good additional storage space in the bathroom. You have a bigger bathroom. You lose a mud closet, but you gain a linen closet. Big countertop here as well, so plenty of room on that, which is awesome. Electrical outlet there, your hand towel ring, and then some additional storage underneath. Now, as we step out of the bathroom here, we'll move out into the main living area. And this again is kind of the big selling point of this floor plan, which is the fact that you get a slide out. And you'll see that the dinette is in the slide out and that dinette is raised. And this is pretty common when you're talking about smaller RVs. Um, so just dropping some quick knowledge on you. When you talk about flush floor slides, right? And that is when the slide right here is the same level as the floor, in order to do that, you have to do something with the slide mechanism. And so a lot of times that you have to bring the floor up to the level of that slide so you can have that mechanism underneath and still have it flush. Well, when you bring that up, that's gonna raise the overall height of the unit. And because this is lightweight, it's meant to be towed by, you know, like a mid-size SUV that can tow 5,000 pounds. You don't want this thing skyrocketing up in the air or you're going to get a bunch of headwind, right? As you're driving down the road, that wind is just going to be, you know, it's going to be like a, a big wall above your tow vehicle and it's going to make towability a little bit worse. Uh, and again, it's a very small step. It is easy to get up here. You will see there's plenty of room for four people here as well, which is great. And I love that the table actually mounts to the wall right here. It attaches there. Um, and, and obviously you can take that off so you can drop this down into an additional sleeping space. See, this RV can sleep three pretty comfortably. The last one was two. Uh, this one is, is three again, fairly easily. Um, now you probably won't get an adult to sleep here, but if you, you know, have a little one, you have a kid, something like that, it's a great, uh, great bed. You just gotta make sure you make it up every night. And if you don't wanna make up a dinette or make up a sofa every night, that's when we start getting into bunk models, uh, which we'll see a little bit later. But the reason I like the fact it's attached here is because it's very stable, right? I mean, you can see that, yes, it wiggles a little bit on this end, but it's very stable here. You don't have to worry about anything falling off. Sometimes the pedestal tables, you get a little more wiggle in there. You also noticed, again, a big window. We talked about how important windows are in a smaller RV. It helps bring in a lot of light, and that window does a great job. And obviously, you can open that up for some airflow, too, if you don't want to run the AC. And once again, if we take a look at that AC, it is, again, that roof-mounted 13,500 BTU. Another great thing about this one is you will see they went with the solar option. So normally it is prepped for solar. We saw that before, but as an option, you can get the solar controller and a 100 watt panel on the roof. And that's exactly what this one has. So, you know, it's already trickle charging the battery. You don't have to worry about, you know, hooking up a, a separate solar panel or bringing it with you or anything like that. It just makes life nice and easy. Uh, and again, we talk about windows. We have windows on both sides for all that natural light storage all the way across the top. And if you drop down, you will notice in this one, we get an actual bed, a Serta mattress. So rather than having to make up a dinette as your main bed, 
this one, right, you get the mattress here, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, it, a lot of people, this is a big selling point. They want, you know, a, a fixed bed. Uh, but again, you have to have the tow vehicle to be able to do it. Otherwise, you're looking at, you know, some lighter weight options. And this one still, you know, as I said, if you can tow 5,000 pounds, you can tow this one no problem. Another thing is we open this up. Look at all that storage underneath, and you will see that you have access from the campsite as well. So plenty of storage right there, a couple different access points, which is great. And as I said, folks, remember, this one right here is starting at $17,495, which is only $4.32 a day. If you're interested in this one, if you're like, yes, this is the one, I can tow it, I love the slide, I love the space, you know, my husband and I or my wife and I are just going to love it. All you have to do to take advantage of that pricing is text the word RV to 46642 and that will lock in the pricing for you. Let's take a quick walk outside here. We'll shoot some of the some of the outside features. Again, we start to get a little bit bigger. You'll see some things definitely are going to repeat themselves like the power awning, right? Power awning, LED light strip. You have the Solaris speakers. And once again, when that is out, you know, it's playing that music down on the campsite, not out at your neighbors. You get that Magnum truss roof system on there. So beautiful construction. Moving forward, we'll move all the way up here. You will see you get a 30 pound propane tank. This again is pretty uncommon. A lot of times, right, you'll get a 20. Well, we went ahead and got a 30 for you there, so you have more propane. You will also notice spot for your batteries, diamond plating on the front, helping to protect that front end from any rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to this side, we'll see this right here, which is that same storage we saw when we were inside underneath the bed, right? Great storage right there, very easy to get to, a couple different access points to it. Our main entryway, talk about the door here, a couple quick things, because this is something, you know, if you uh, haven't been RVing in a while or you never have before, a couple things I like about the screen. Back, in, you know, when, when I was growing up, uh, we didn't have a handle out here. So to open the screen, you would have to kind of get in here and jiggle the handle and try to make it open. And RV manufacturers are like, well, that's a pain, why do that? So now you just have this, makes it super simple and easy to open and close. That just latches right into place and boom, just like that, it shuts, you are good to go. Another thing that is important on this one is this one uses a keyed a like system. And that's something that not all RV manufacturers do. And what that is, is it's, it's a uh, uh, security, right? It is a, it's peace of mind. Um, for the longest time, and some, a lot of RV manufacturers still do this, they use what is called a 751 key for all your storage compartments. And the problem with the 751 key is if you buy a Jayco and it has the 751, that's the exact same key as someone that buys, you know, a Cougar that has a 751, right? It, not that either of those manufacturers use them, but still, it, it, every single 751 key was the same. And so that becomes a security problem because your stuff, even if you lock it, if someone else has that key, it, it's really not safe. The key to like system is unique to the individual trailer. So this compartment right here, as well as the door, both will use that same key and it will only open the compartments on this trailer. If someone else has, you know, another 183 RB, their key won't work on yours. It will only work on theirs. So that's, again, a great peace of mind to have. You have the larger grab handle, makes it nice and easy. It gives you that control when you're entering or exiting the RV. You know, it's nice and strong, it's sturdy. Love that. And this is too cool. With the Baja package, take a look at that ground clearance you get. I mean, that thing is lifted. You know, you, everyone talks about lifted trucks. Bah, why have that when you can have a lifted RV, right? Or maybe you have a lifted truck and a lifted RV. Now we're talking. You want to do some off-roading? Hey, you got the capability to do it. You'll also see here that you have uh, electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Um, it, it probably should talk about if you do go uh, off-roading, you know, doing boondocking, again, you have the solar package on this one, you have the higher ground clearance. You're looking at 20 gallon tanks all the way around for fresh black and gray. Coming around to the back, let's say you're doing a bunch of off-road and you accidentally blow a tire, no problem. You have a spare right here, it is on the back. It is very easy to access. You don't have to worry about getting down on your hands and knees or anything like that underneath the trailer. Just pop it right off, put it on, and you are all set. Now remember folks, we've seen a couple uh, you know, Jayco J-Flight SLX 7s, 
both of these are lighter weight and that's a big thing right now if you have a smaller vehicle not necessarily a smaller vehicle but if you have an suv you don't want to go out and buy a half ton three quarter one ton truck these are great rv options you're going to want to take advantage of the show pricing we have right now all you have to do is text the word rv to 46642 to lock in that price of four dollars and 32 cents a day it's an American tradition, passed down from generation to generation. The love of discovering the outdoors. It's the beauty of nature as you walk the path of a new adventure. We're proud to be a company that celebrates the freedom of the outdoors and the journey of discovery along the way. Making sure wherever the road takes you, we're not that far away. We're Camping World, helping America enjoy the outdoors since 1966. Oh, oh, so that's our mascot right here. Oh, I just love hanging out with this dog. Yay, and it's time for an ultimate giveaway. You win a brand new dog. No. Oh, no, you, you would never <laughs> give him away. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany and Caleb, this dog has been on the road traveling across the country, obviously, with uh, with our friends, us, the Remingtons, and uh, but just around set and every place, every state that we have stopped in. Every, right now, we're in the upper Midwest enjoying the uh, polar vortex, but let's make things a little warmer, somebody's uh, day a little bit better, yes. and let's give away. We have an ultimate giveaway, $100 gift card. A $100 gift card, and Oso can already tell you how much he spent <laughs> spent here, especially oh, in the cold. This he needs dog, little booties. Yeah, he likes the toys, too. Oh, Oso he, likes every ball everything round yes yeah, so if you are not registered yet you have to in order to um, win any of these giveaways two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of giveaways and we're giving away an rv yes at the end of the That's weekend crazy. so make sure you are registered and how do they do that you are vs to 46642 or comment below and this winner is come on bubby come on say it <laughs> Kathy Elkhorn. <gasps> I love it. And you know, I have seen a lot of things since we have started this national tour across the country so far, but I have never seen Cousin Eddie make an appearance, and I am so <laughs> glad that he did. Britney Spears was here. Yes, she nice was. Nice Britney impersonation there. <laughs> Listen, we've got lots more giveaways on the way here in just a moment, but we're going to continue with our Jayco J Flight SLX series. And uh, Ian is doing such a great job showing us not only how big these units are, how comfortable these travel trailers can be for the couples, but also how convenient they are to have all the comforts Absolutely. of home to go with you on the road. I'm excited. I've been looking forward for this Jayco J, so can't wait. Let's jump into it. the SLX 21 uh, T2 QBW. Ian, what do you got? So let's say you want something a little bit bigger yet, or maybe you just want a double axle. Well, that's where the J Flight SLX 8 comes in. So the last two we looked at were both SLX 7, now we're into the SLX 8. And to be quite honest, the biggest difference is going to be going from single axle to double axle. Uh, we will have some different things that change a little bit as we go through, but again, a lot of it's just going to be size of RV. So. This one right here, I love this layout. This is the 2021 J Flight SLX 8212QB. Uh, and the reason I love this one is that even though it's a QB, which is for a queen bed, um, a lot of manufacturers, because this is not a unique floor plan, right? Jayco makes it and they make a great one. There's a lot of manufacturers that make this floor plan. Most of them designate it as a rear living and for good reason. My favorite part is right back here, and, and we'll get there in just a second, but it's a great space to really just entertain and have conversation. Now, if we take a look at the kitchen, this is something we talked about a little bit earlier, right? You're looking at kitchen space, and you will see that in this one, you don't have a ton of prep space right here for built-in countertop, but you did go with the double bowl sink as well as the three burner cooktop. Now, a couple things here. One is you do get upgraded countertops themselves, and that will allow for an undermount bowl, as we can see. So, you know, the great thing about undermount is it's easier to keep clean, right? Your countertop, you can just clean it off, sweep everything right in there, and you don't have a lip where the sink is if it's a top mount sink. And this style of countertop will allow you to do that undermount. You'll also see the high-rise pull-out faucet, right? Making wash and rinse and dishes much simpler. And with the cooktop, this is going to be right? Your primary prep space. Or if you get sink top covers, sink top covers will work there too, but you're going to have to use one of these kind of as your primary prep. Now, when you fold that back, just like we had it, kind of opens up the residential style burner. Front one's being high output, or the front one rather. 
Um, that is important if you plan on like boiling water in higher elevation, right? You want to make sure you're going to use that front one. It'll be much simpler. This is a Furion unit and the knobs here do light up. As you can see, you can turn that off if you so choose. Um, but if you want it on, it's nice and simple to flip on. And there's an oven underneath for baking. You will also see additional storage for some pots and pans right there. And there's enough room for a trash can, which I love. Plus not one, but two full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have plenty of space for not just your flatware, but everything else, you know, some of your larger utensils, knives, um, you know, if you need any uh, like pot holders, things like that, there's a great spot for them. You also notice the storage here up top, microwave and a hood. And of course the electrical outlet located there again for coffee maker, whatever, or whatever else as well as the tank monitoring panel. And just like in the last units, that water heater does run off both propane and electric. Now, as we make our way to the very back, um, this is really what makes this floor plan shine. Now, uh, note that there aren't any slides in here, okay? And it still is a fairly open feeling floor plan. It's a little bit tighter back here, but I love kind of the, I don't know, uh, just the, the closeness, I guess, that you have when you're hanging out with family and friends. You know, it's just a little more intimate, I guess is the word I want to use. Um, you know, you can have four people here, another two people here. I mean, six people just hanging out, having a good time. Everyone's involved in the conversation. Even if you're playing a game, right? Let's say you have a board game. These two people can still be involved in that board game. You can still reach the table, which I, I really like. That's really hard to do in most floor plans, but they've been able to accomplish it here. Uh, and again, you know, because it's slideless, it's going to be a little bit lighter. Even though this is a double axle, your dry weight's uh, 4,125 pounds, so still very manageable. Um, and your, your length is about 25 and a half foot is what you're looking at. Price on this one, you know, price is going to go up. Uh, again, we're getting into a much larger RV. We're looking at this one starting at $25,995, which is $6.42 a day, and that is still a great value. If you're looking for something, and the other cool thing about this one, I guess I should say, right, is because it doesn't matter if it's for a couple or if it's for a family, this one can, it can make it work, right? You can sleep four in here. This drops down into a bed, this folds out into a bed, so you have those accommodations. So if that's kind of what you're looking for is versatility, great entertainment space, then this is definitely one that you should uh, check out. And, and again, you wanna make sure you take advantage of the great pricing for the show. Right up top, again, you have more storage there. Your multimedia center is located here. Uh, this one has an HDMI input. So let's say you want a Blu-ray player, great. You can pop it right up there and you're good to go. Now it does have a DVD player built in. So if you just wanna watch standard DVDs, you're good to go, no issues there. The TV will be right up here in the corner and you will see you have a great view from the sofa, which is pretty cool. More storage across here as well. Windows all the way around. We talked about the importance of windows. You have window here, big window in the back, huge window over to the side by the dinette. And this is one of my favorites, right? Because as I'm sitting right here, especially on this inside one, I have a great view here out to my campsite. So, you know, as, as my wife and I are sitting here sipping on our morning coffee, I have a great view, you know, watching the kids play at the campsite. We're gonna ride around on the bikes right there, whatever it may be. And so I love how big this window is. And of course, all these have uh, some kind of capacity of opening. So if you want that, you know, that ventilation, that cross breeze, uh, you can make that happen. As I mentioned, this does drop down into a bed for sleeping. Storage underneath both sides and easy access. You'll see you have the doors, they swing open just like that. You'll have that on both sides so that way you can access things easier, especially if someone is sitting on the sofa. Electrical outlet back here if you need to plug anything in. Great spot to plug in cell phones while you're sitting there. And uh, jackknife sofas, a lot of times you get storage underneath, but what they did here is they utilized this space for a lot of components. I'll show you. So when we lift this up, you can see you have ductwork in there, you have water heater in there, right? They, they use this space for all of that. And that's a good thing because if they didn't, it's gonna take up space generally in your kitchen. So they wanted to maximize your kitchen storage and put everything back here, which I think is smart. And you know, as we'll see when we get up front, there's still storage under the bed. So you still have plenty of storage for larger items. Big pantry, I love this too. You know, this is one of those things, you start to get to a little bit bigger RV, you have more room for food, whatever other items you need. And you can see here, plenty of space. Your fridge and freezer also gets larger. So, you know, as you start to move up, you can see everything just starts to get a little bit bigger, which makes sense. Norcold fridge freezer unit here, you know, great space in there. And if that's one of the things, you know, that are, again, really important to you, 
um, you know, maybe this is the one you want to move up to. And it, if, if, if you're capable of towing 5,000 pounds, you'll probably be a little tight, to be honest. Um, but, you know, if you have like a, a half ton pickup or a larger SUV, you know, if you have a, like a Tahoe, something like that, where it's on a pickup frame, then chances are you'll probably be able to tow something like this just fine. Now you always, of course, I mean, don't just assume, you always want to make sure that, you know, it's capable of towing it. Make sure you, you take a look and see, you know, see what gear ratios you have or what engine choices there are. Um, you know, with trucks and stuff, you want to see if it's uh, two wheel, four wheel drive, because all that will play in uh, to what you can tow. All that plays a factor. Now, as for the bathroom, couple things I love here. We've gone to porcelain bowls. Makes it super easy to clean. I love porcelain bowls for exactly that reason. It looks nicer for longer. As far as space when the door is shut, you know, if, if I'm sitting right here, you'll notice there's a cutout. And you know, I, I, I am, you know, kind of rubbing up against on both walls, but as you saw when I sat here, realistically, this is probably what I would do. And I am plenty comfortable. I have no issues with it at all. Underneath the sink, you have storage, good spot for some extra toilet paper, black tank chemicals, or you also have this cut out here. I do like the sink extension for any items you want in the bathroom, electrical outlet, mirrored medicine cabinet there right up top, and our tub shower once again, just to show you. Look at that, folks. Even without the skylight, right? We start getting into bigger RVs. Take a look at this. Without the skylight, I can still stand up in here no problem with that skylight. Shoot, I bet you can be 6'3", maybe 6'4". I bet my, my good buddy Chris Young can stand in here no problem at all, right? You don't have to duck down. He's a taller guy coming in at 6'2", no issues whatsoever. Uh, so I do like that extra height, a couple of shelves here in the corner as well, and then your hand wand. Uh, as we take a step out, we'll look toward the front. And uh, what you will see right up there, of course, is the bed. And once again, you're getting into a fixed bed. You have the Serta mattress. And I talked about storage. We'll lift this up for you. Plenty of storage, folks. <laughs> no issues there. We have, I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, I, I have someone peeking, peeking in through the pass-through here. Um, but you can see there's, there's plenty of room. I mean, you know, Jace just crawled in there, no problem at all, right? If he wanted to lay in there, he could. Now, I'm going to lock that, and I have a Kia like system, so he's not going to be able to unlock it, right? Because I don't want anyone creeping underneath my bed. But uh, you do get plenty of storage and lots of access points, strut supported, so that way it is nice and simple to lift up as well. Windows on both sides. It's also worth mentioning, right, when we talk about windows, take a look at this. You'll see that they, they are framed out in wood. Very residential styling. Um, you know, we're starting to see more and more manufacturers kind of, you know, learn that people want their RVs to feel like a home. And so that's exactly what they've done here is they went with, you know, wood framing just like you would have in your house. For a TV, this is a pretty cool system. This mount right here, you will see the exact same thing outside the unit. And the reason being, that there's a, a single um, bracket that mounts to your TV. What you can do is you can take this off and take that same TV outside, so you only have to have one TV. Otherwise, right, you have an extra TV and you don't have a place to store it when it's raining out or whatever else. This one you just bring in, lock into place, you're good to go. Connections for it are right there up top. We take a look at, you know, on the sides of the bed, nice big nightstands with actual tops on them so your hands aren't gonna go through. It's not just a thin panel, anything like that. You have electrical outlets to plug anything in. Storage up top with some accent lighting, and this one also has the solar package on there. So you get the solar controller plus the panel up on the roof. So we take a step out, show you a couple things here. Well, we have the door locked open, but um, I do just want to show you the steps, right? This is the more ride step above system. And what I want to show you is even though we are on a sidewalk right here, we were still able to drop the steps down. I mean, the feet are bottomed out, they're adjustable, but that allows me to, you know, if I'm pulling up, uh, you know, if you have like an HOA, something like that, you need to pull up to the side of the road, you can still come up, load up, and you're good to go. Also, aluminum treads, which aren't gonna rust, absolutely fantastic. And as we said, because it is the eight, you go to the double axle right here. Uh, this one is the Baja, so it's lifted up a little bit higher, right? You get more ground clearance on that Baja, so you can go to some of those uh, tougher places. You don't have to necessarily go on a paved road. And once again, right there is what I was talking about that we saw in the bedroom. That is that TV mount, so you can drop the TV right here underneath that lit power awning with those Solaris speakers. 
Now remember folks, as I say, as we go through the Jayco J Flight line, uh, just so you know, the J Flight line has been the number one selling travel trailer line for the last 15 years, and for good reason. There's a ton here. If you're loving what you see, maybe you haven't found the floor plan, but you love the construction, you love the amenities, you're gonna wanna text the word FRESH to 46642 to get your hands on one of the factory fresh units we have coming over 80,000 pieces of inventory. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. You know, honestly, what makes me excited about America's Gunsmith Shop is the people. The team that we have here is the greatest team that I've been a part of in my 30 years here. So America's Gunsmith Shop is in Kenosha, Wisconsin, right in between Milwaukee and Chicago. You know, we're the largest gunsmith shop in the country from both square footage and employees. This is all fairly new facility that we have, new equipment. So we're very excited about what we have here. It's uh, pretty much endless what we're able, uh, capable of being able to do here. From machining to um, re-bluing to camo dipping. We can do the restoration. We can do the engraving. Wood refinishing, just general repair. I don't want my gun to look like anyone else's gun. Send it here and we can help you. We're capable of doing just about any, any service. People that come into the store, if they're interested in seeing the shop, we'll bring them back, walk them through, give them a little tour. I just think we have a great group of guys. That's one of the reasons I enjoy coming to work. Yeah, we all get along well together and we all care very much about the finished product. Every firearm that shows up on our dock is a, is a one of a kind job that's tailored to the customer's individual needs. Granddad's old rifle, you know, we can breathe new life into it and we can honestly make it look like, it, uh, like the day it came out of the factory. Uh, you know, back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, if you like. Each job is looked at as an individual. We're working directly with the customer at that point, trying to find out exactly what their needs are, what their wants are. Have all the input in the world. Nothing is done without the owner's consent. You know, no matter where you're located in the country, uh, we can ship you a firearms uh, box. The firearm can go in that box and it gets shipped right to us. We use FedEx. We'll complete the repair and we'll ship that firearm right back to your home. We can be your local gunsmith shop from a thousand miles away. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Don't know if you guys noticed the trend, but we keep getting a little bit bigger every time we take we jump in one of the uh, J Flight SLX units. So this one right here is the J Flight SLX 248 RBS, and. I really like this floor plan. Uh, the front half is very reminiscent of what we've seen in uh, some common bunk models, right? And, and you'll see that in just a second. But what they've done is they've added in a slide and they changed the back half to a big rear bath floor plan to change it from more of a family unit to a little bit more of a couples oriented unit. Now, you can still sleep, you know, four to five people in here fairly easily. And I'll show you why and how in just a moment. Uh, but because it doesn't have bunks, we generally designate it as a couple's model. Now, as I mentioned, you have a slide. We're a little bit bigger. This one's coming in at 29 feet, but it's still, for being 29 feet, it's still pretty lightweight. We're coming in under 5,300 pounds dry, which is pretty darn impressive for that size. Another impressive stat on this one, 
80 gallons of fresh water capacity. So if you plan on going out, doing some boondocking, having the capability to have those 80 gallons is phenomenal. And you still have 39 gallon gray and 39 gallon black, which are very respectable tank sizes. Let's start off over on the kitchen because once again, right, we're stepping up the kitchen even a little bit more. All the other SLX units we've seen have just been kind of straight across. What you've noticed here is we still get the double bowl sink and the three burner cooktop, but they put it on a little bit of an angle. The thing I like about doing this, and of course the countertop came out here, but the reason I like this is you have this space right here for your coffee maker, right? You still have some prep space right over here to the side. You can easily reach, or reach and do the dishes while looking outside of your window and you have more prep space here as long as you're not using the three burner. So uh, great space all around. This of course, you know, folds up and back just like we've seen in the others. The front one is still high output just like you would expect. Same Furion unit that we've had. And that's one of the great things about the SLX line. It doesn't matter if, you know, you're in an 18 foot unit or a 29 foot unit, they're using a lot of the same construction, a lot of the same appliances throughout the entire line. And of course, we have some changes depending on, you know, model year and, and uh, or not model year, but when it was built in that model year, I should say, right? Because I'm just some running changes with refrigerators or stoves, sinks, things like that. But a lot of the same things, and we're talking, you know, Magnum uh, truss roof system, right? Like that is going to be on the, all of them throughout, even the smallest units. They're putting in that high end construction. You know, they're screwing everything in the, in the roof, right? there's no staples in there. It's a pretty big deal. You know, plywood, that's another big one. Plywood floors. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, they, they maybe you don't know the advantages of plywood, but, um, you know, one of the big things about it is that you can run true ductwork in the floor. If you have um, a laminated floor, you either A, have to kind of hollow out the, uh, um, the foam right in the floor to make tunnels, basically, for ductwork, or you have to run it through furniture. So by plywood, you can conveniently place the ductwork wherever you want. It doesn't have to be wherever the furniture is. So lots of great construction features. And now we upgraded instead of having, you know, one or two drawers, look at that. Now we have a bigger kitchen, it affords us more space. Now we have three drawers underneath the sink, just like we've seen before, plenty of space there for a trash can. As you'd expect, storage up top, microwave hood, all that is gonna be just like we've seen in the past. Nor cold fridge freezer unit, open that guy up. Um, this one does have the thermostat on the outside, this particular model. And then in the back, as I mentioned, this one is a rear bath. So let's come on back in the bathroom real quick because this right here is really cool. Take a look at that wardrobe. Now, why do I love this? Well, uh, a lot of people may not know this, especially if you're new to RVing. But most of the time in a lot of RVs, your bedroom is fairly small, right? It's a little tight. And the reason is you just don't spend a ton, a ton of time up there. You know, you're usually you go up there, you go to bed and then you come out. So you want more space in your bathroom or most of the time your kitchen and living space. The cool thing about having a big rear bath like this, especially with the wardrobe, is you have space to actually get changed because believe it or not, a lot of times in the bedroom, you're not afforded that space, at least not comfortably. Here, I have more than enough room to change my clothes. I have space here where if I want to put uh, a laundry basket, right, I can, or a dirty clothes basket, something like that, I can have it. And then I still have space to hang all of my clothes so that way I can get dressed back here. So I, I personally really like this, especially for a couple's model. Um, I think that's a, a great addition. Your hand towel ring will be there. You know, you still get decent countertop space in here, electrical outlet, storage underneath. Uh, well, there's something on there, so I'm not going to sit on it. But um, just know that if I do sit here, I'll squat get my leg workout in. You can see here I have plenty of room for my knees. Great shoulder space there too. It's not an issue at all. As for the tub shower, once again, just want to kind of prove to you, you know, I have, I have plenty of space here, folks. No issues. You know, six foot tall, I can be, like I said, I can be my, my buddy Chris Young's height, right? Six two, six three. No issues there at all. We are all set. Now, as we take a step back out, and we uh, move over to the left, I want to show you something again a little more unique. And what they've done <clears throat> is they have, one, put the entertainment center right here, which gives you a great viewing angle from not only part or the majority of the U-shaped dinette, but also from the sofa. So I think this was a great spot to put it, storage all around, multimedia center. Just like we saw before, that one does have your DVD player built in. Excuse me. But the thing I, I also like is this right here. Now you have a U-shaped dinette. And if you remember what we talked about earlier, right, with the slide out, the 
Uh, we had a slide out in one of the earlier models, but take a look here. Now we've moved into flush floor slide, right? Our weight is a little bit higher. You know, we're almost 5,300 pounds dry. There, it's going to be expected that you're probably going to tow this with something on a truck frame, whether that's a large SUV or a half ton pickup or larger. Um, and so that it's okay to have it a little bit higher because your vehicle is going to sit up higher. Flush floor obviously is great because you can just slide right in. But this Udinet, you know, gives you plenty of space for guests to come in. Or if it's just the two of you, you obviously have a lot of room. But, you know, if you like to entertain, you can play games here. You have a spot to plug in a phone. Huge window lets in a ton of natural light there. Just like we saw before in our dinettes in the last model, you have easy uh, access to any storage that you put underneath the dinette there. And when this is dropped down into a bed, it can very easily sleep one adult, possibly two, as long as they're okay cuddling up a little. Now, as we move in a little bit further, this part right here is what I say, you know, reminds me of uh, some common bunk models. And that's to have the midship sofa, which kind of creates the differentiation between the bedroom and the living space. And with this, this jackknife sofa does drop down into a bed. And also, you'll see half of it has a lot of storage. So, you know, it's kind of the best of both worlds. They put some stuff under there, but also still left you storage, which is great. And more importantly, more than anything, the reason I love this is because it gives you another seating place. And as I said, that TV is gonna be straight across. So if you wanna watch TV, that's definitely gonna be the prime spot to watch it. A little bit of storage up there. And what they did is with this setup, when you have the midship sofa, they'll do a couple different things. One, they will create a wall to about here and have a door to enter the bedroom to create full separation. Uh, the issue with that, right, it, it, again, everything's pro-cons. The pros, it gives you a lot of privacy. The cons is that it makes the unit look shorter. It makes it feel more closed in because you have a wall. The another option is what we've done here, which is they have a cutout to make it seem open. You have this right here for privacy to close off, but it still creates some separation and it allows for a little bit of extra storage. The other option is just chop this whole thing off, which makes it seem the most open, but also makes it feel, you know, the less privacy up front. Now, I talked about smaller bedrooms. This one, actually, when you come up here, you'll see is actually fairly decent size. When I walk in, I do have, uh, you know, some space here to get changed, which is nice. But personally, I'd probably still do it in the bathroom more than, more than anywhere else. Uh, but you will notice that you have... Uh, wardrobes on both sides, shelf there, LED lights, kind of like we've seen before. You have the nightstands, electrical outlets there, lifting that Serta mattress up, and you will see the storage there underneath. So again, excellent storage, couple different access points to it. And if you want TV, just like we had before, you can take a look right on this side, you have that same really cool mount, makes it nice and easy. The connections for it are over here. So as I mentioned, folks, if you're, you know, have a little bit bigger tow vehicle, you want some more space and, you know, maybe it's two of you, maybe you have some kiddos, whatever it may be. This one is able to accommodate that because again, you can sleep up to four, uh, coming in at about 5,300 pounds. And this one is starting at 25,995, which is only $6 and 42 cents a day. All you have to do to claim that show price is text the word RV to 46642. So we take a step outside. Let's take a look at a couple things. I want to go up front, start up here. Um, one of the things I didn't really talk about much, but is that something that is very important is this right here, which is warranty. It's a big reason that a lot of people buy new, right? You want to, you want to be covered. You want to make sure if anything goes wrong, that the manufacturer is going to have your back. And you will see right here, you get a two-year limited warranty plus a three-year structural. And that's a great warranty, folks. It is one of the best in the industry. So you know that if something goes wrong, if something happens while you're out on the road, and things will happen, right? I mean, it's, it's undeniable. Hopefully, it's nothing major. But if there is a big problem, just know that you have the warranty. You will be covered. Also right up front here, power tongue jack. I personally love these just because it makes life so much easier. Um, you know, th there's a couple things when it comes to travel trailers that are a lot of work. One is connecting and disconnecting your tongue jack. The other one is leveling the RV. So if you can eliminate a big chunk of that right here, absolutely do it. And the reason I say leveling is an RV is because you have to get some blocks, kind of go back and forth, takes a little bit of time. But this right here will be the most physical work you can take out of the process. If you don't have one on your current RV, highly recommend getting one. You can retrofit one to most RVs. It's just always nice to have it straight from the manufacturer. Propane tanks with a cover right behind that. Rails, of course, for your batteries. That diamond plating is gonna help protect that front end for anything that gets thrown up. 
We saw the storage, but something else I wanna show you is magnetic catches. I really like those because it's simple, and if the grandkids are coming or you have smaller kids with you, they go to close that, it's not gonna break a plastic tab, rip anything off, nothing like that. You still have that same awning system with LED lights and speakers, the Kia-like system, everything we've seen, you know, kind of as we've moved up through the line. Right there is your outside TV hookup, Easy lube axles are a big one. Goodyear tires, I know that's another big one for a lot of people, right? You want American made tires, there you go. And this one comes with an outside kitchen. So you get a cooktop as well as a sink right out here. So that way if you're cooking bacon or something, not uh, making it smell inside the camper, stinking it up. Now don't get me wrong, I love the smell of bacon, but you know, just not four or five hours later when it's still inside. But folks, I hope you enjoyed kind of the lineup as we've walked through again. This is the Jayco J-Flight SLX line. We have the SLX 7 for single axle, SLX 8 for double axle. They're all great, fantastic features. If you're interested, make sure you text the word FRESH to 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com.